it's time for some spooks. Hello everyone, as you'll notice, Eternal Darkness got uh, a little shafted this week, because a couple days ago I got a little email from Steam saying that, hey, Faith is now released. And I'm like, oh, well this uh, completely changes my plans. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time, but I forgot about the release date. <laughs> and I'm like, well, sorry, Eter Eternal Darkness, you're going to have to wait until Wednesday. <laughs> Because <laughs> Faith is really amazing. If you haven't seen this game, I think you'll enjoy this. You'll enjoy this. And this is much more uh, fitting for the Spooktober, you know, atmosphere. This game is properly spooky. I like Eternal Darkness, but it's not quite what, you know... Not, not quite what I expected. I like the game. I am going to continue it, but uh, yeah. Hang on. Someone asking me, is that, is that Mortis? Yeah, it is Mortis. <laughs> We're gonna see a lot of Mortis today, probably. I, As you can see, I pixelated myself a little bit. Uh, just to kind of match the game's vibe. I, I think if there are new people that are gonna, who haven't seen this before, who, people that are unfamiliar with the fact that I have Paula Abdul here, on my stream overlay. <laughs> I don't even want to explain why that is a thing. I mean, it's not like there's much context to it, but <laughs> just accept it as a thing that happens here. I contacted Dave Oshry on Twitter after he posted this thing, like saying that, oh, I'm gonna give uh, Steam keys out to some content creators. Tag yourselves in the replies. And I did. And can you believe? That I didn't get one? I can't believe it either. That's ridiculous. <laughs> ah, I'm just kidding. But let's check it out. Because I love this game. This game is fantastic. Right, is it showing up? No. Oh, there we are. Nice. So this game has a bit of a, a cute little image on the sides of a priest staring down a demon that you can't see here because I cut it down to 4x3 for the purpose of the, of the stream because I mean I'm pretty sure that's all that you know the game is gonna show us anyway the, enti the entire game is just 4x3 anyway so I just cut, I cut off the overlay for the purposes of the stream Oh yeah. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. <laughs> I should have used my voice changer to get an effect like this, actually. That definitely wouldn't have been incredibly annoying, right? Begin. Initus. Catechismus. The options are in Latin until, you know, you, homo you change them up. Back, master volume, scan, scan lines, opacity, effect. Grayscale. There is grayscale and the grayscale. I, I don't really know what this is about. I guess one if you're American and one if you're British, but eh. Display, fit, background. Oh, this changes the... You don't see any, you don't see any change here, this, this changes like the little overlay that this game is, has behind it for the purposes of, uh, you know, widescreen. Amen in the chat, amen. <laughs> Demons enabled. Wait, what do you mean not yet unlocked? Can you like... <laughs> is the game gonna be like, hey, you can unlock a mode where you just d disable demons? There are no demons in the game? Oh, you gotta press twice. Hang on, let me ch check a ping real quick. Can you do a shout-out that says, Rin stupid? <laughs> Asks me a person, a, per a friend in another server. <laughs> hey, Rin. Stupid. Alright, <laughs> enough of that. 
I, lo I love this game. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to this for, for a while. Oh! Or we can play any chapter you like. Marathon mode. Change the grave, people start complaining the dark great and hurts your eyes or others. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I, I don't mind this. Uh, so... I have seen the first two chapters, of course. I've seen this before, but... Um, uh, it, it feels it, it feels like it would be, you know, weird to just start chapter 3 from the start. Let's, let's do everything properly. Faith, chapter 1. Con Lod Lodum Novus. Collected notes. Flashlight mode, lantern mode. Turbo? <laughs> wow. Save file will be overwritten. We're gonna do everything here. Everything from the very start, because I love this game. More this. Hello, Mr. Monja. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing an escape key or a start button is a good place to start. Oh, it gives you a map? Oh, I... Is this new? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, off to a good start. <laughs> right, 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 right. Right, hang on. I'm just gonna check one last, very last ping. Because. What's up? Oh, right, right, right. Got an ending already, yeah, yeah. It's been like 10 seconds and I got myself turned into roadkill. Right, but... <laughs> Let's go Isekai! <laughs> yeah... I'm gonna get sent to like... Man, I don't even keep up with Isekai anime, I, I have no clue. Whoa. Uh oh Yeah, I don't wanna... I, I think it's time to... Yeah, I love this game's vibe, by the way. This game is fantastic. Very normal stuff happening here. Bye-bye, Mr. Deer. Is there anything else along the road? I'm just, I'm just gonna check real quick. Before we head to where we're supposed to head. I remember... Road. I remember... Searching for stuff in the woods here being a little annoying though, the first time I checked this out. But it's alright, it's alright. Oh, I'm back here. It just loops around. Okay. Let's go then. And stay away from the road. <laughs> Please, no. Whoa! Hmm. That's two deaths. It's been it's been like five minutes. <laughs> cool. How do I? All right, right. You you gotta hold space to hold your cross up. There we go, all right. I'm not, not letting that happen again. <laughs> there are things that live in these woods. Well? Oh, right, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, this, this is pretty good. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Directions. Blah, 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 blah. I I don't care. Right. Hello, demons. It's me. Huh. 
Good, good. This, this is this is a good forest. This is a good forest. I showed oh grave gravestones. I showed someone that video on YouTube of you know the guy hunting for mushrooms when suddenly he hears like a weird scream and it's like I think it's time to go. <laughs> Maybe I should show that again on stream. Mr. Martin has taken longer than expected registering registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our, our office ha has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Oh, all the best, Daryl Henderson, State of Connecticut Historical Society. The area of effect is bugged. I see. I see. This is probably the first time that I'm playing something so freshly freshly released. Usually I just stream completely old stuff. Things that have been out for years. It's not gonna happen any again anytime soon that I'm gonna play something that just came out, but... Oh, I can probably... No? Hmm. Right, but let's find the house. There should be a house here somewhere. Well, I'm at the well again. Maybe I just need to go straight up. Ooh. Well, at least until Toho 19 comes out next year. <laughs> this is the same exact grid space on this map. There we go. This this is what we're looking for. Oh right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but isn't there? Can I? Something here? Perhaps? No, probably not. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta go find uh, a key somewhere. Uh oh. Run, run, run! What? Oh, come on! <laughs> to be fair, I did look down. <laughs> I was looking down there. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> God damn it. Right. Hmm. Oh, it does seem to uh, retain some of my progress, though. Uh, notes? But don't I have the invitation thing? I guess not. Alright, let's just follow these figures. I'm sure it's gonna... I'm sure it's gonna go well. I'm sure this will be perfectly fine. Something in... Purple shoes. Purple children, yeah. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back towards the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. <laughs> Grimace. Actually, I was watching a playthrough of Scorn. You know, this is kind of... Oh, we got, we got, we got something, hang on. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off of the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway, trees just out in the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father, Father Allred seemed to know where he was going, he simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins insisted that Amy remain inside. He complains that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. <laughs> he 
Yeah, the monsters just say... Oh, something's there. Monsters say funny things. Oh, I didn't think he would come inside, actually. <laughs> uh. So I was playing Scorn, right? And... No, I wasn't playing Scorn, I was watching a playthrough of Scorn. Vinny's playthrough, actually, because Vinny's my favorite content creator. Oh, come on. I can't, I, can't, I can't tell my story here. <laughs> Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go into real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came, with, came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them, to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come here home. Come home. Mm. I was pl watching a playthrough of Scorn, and yeah, but German this time. So, I mean, I think we all already know that Scorn is pretty surface level when, as far as gameplay is concerned, and it's mostly about visuals and vibe, which is okay, I guess. But that, that's not what I'm talking about. Here's the thing. It hurts my pride a little bit to admit this. But I was gonna say that after watching that ending, I got like feverish. And that was the first time in my entire life that I felt that way. Like, I watched the... Oh, I, 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 I was here already. But uh, yeah, so... After we fi I finished watching the ending of our game, like suddenly I, f I see lights all around the edges of my vision and I hear like buzzing everywhere. And I feel weak and I had to lay down for like 10 minutes before everything returned to normal. Usually, again, first time that ever happened to me in my life, because I don't think I was ever feverish like due to disease or anything. But uh, yeah. I think it was just because of that bit in the ending where you're just holding your protagonist and the, the dude just for some reason has like a mechanical arm that just keeps stabbing your guy for, in the stomach just over and over for no reason whatsoever. It was probably that. Or you know, just the whole para parasite thing as well. Ugh. Dear? Right. I guess it's good that there's a map. Uh oh, there's an evil purple spirit in there. Right. I'm sure this is a perfectly fine normal house and there's not gonna be anything weird in here. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us from the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy, Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Mm. Let's look at this painting, which, which is haunted as well, of course. You have a nice epilepsy with a nice touch of tinnitus. <laughs> tinnitus, however you say that. No music. Ooh, they're, they're eating something? Fridge. Oh. Yeah, looks normal. Nate. Seems fine. Can't go in there. <laughs> Anything in the flower pot? <laughs> yeah, again, I've never felt that way in my life before. It was literally the first time anything caused me to just... Just... I don't know, man. But I'm fine. I'm fine, don't worry. Oh, oh yeah, that, that's, that's good. That's, that's normal. 
There's a little spirit following me around. Let's check out the upstairs. Oh, actually, is there anything in the clock? No. Hmm. Right. There's a bike, there's blood. Again, perfectly normal. Just average cabin in the woods moment. Can't go in there. <laughs> Rubber ducky? <laughs> Rubber ducky's haunted. <laughs> I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I just don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. And now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Whoa. Oh, toilet. But at, le at least the toilet isn't haunted. At least here I have a little refuge from all the horrors that exist in this world. Hmm. What about the shower head? No. Okay, it's a pretty big bathroom actually. It's pretty huge. What's this? What is that? Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because when he's because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She seems like she could be from over there. <laughs> cool. Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather have a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Hmm. Is this RTX on? Yes, it is. This is the kind of game you buy the newest N NVIDIA GTX for, RTX. I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me when I, like when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. <laughs> nice. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. She started singing uh, Taurus's theme from Ace Combat 7. <laughs> you know, Salute Omnibus. Uh oh. Well, at least... Is the earth haunted? Is the earth haunted? No, it's perfectly fine. Simon says... Was this a radio, maybe? A uh, Segway? <laughs> or a scooter? What about this? No nothing, nothing's haunted over here? Okay. This room seems fine. Th this doesn't seem fine. <laughs> but I don't think we can go in there just yet. I don't think I checked the bike, actually, but I, I don't think the bike or the dumbbells are gonna be haunted. <laughs> then again, it might be like a stalker s situation. <laughs> I was playing... when I was playing Stalker Clear Sky, I once got killed because a ghost threw an AK at me. <laughs> Just instantly dead. Like, like an empty AK was left on the ground from a firefight and a ghost picks it up and just s smacks me on the head and I die instantly. Lost to the zone. <laughs> right. Oh. Okay. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. 
it's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15. When he asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told, him, he told us about the time when he stayed, stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get to work. See you in four months, Leighton. <laughs> like Professor Leighton? Probably not. Is anyone stuck in this washing machine? I guess not. Got some leakage leakage going on. Mm. Oh, ominous. Oh, of course, we have mannequins or whatever they are. Sewing machine? Well, it's not haunted. Mm. Hmm. Ah, good. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the ride for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming mother, mother the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Ah, this is good information. I'm sure that... Uh... Oh, hello! Okay, and now I now I'm in the first floor again. Oh, spooky! Oh, now now I'm on the the upper floor. Oh, oh! More this. Oh, <laughs> got me! That got me! That got me good. Jesus Christ! He is here. Damn, man, this game is fantastic, though. I I love this game's vibe. Right. Oh. Okay. Okay. Defend defended myself this time. Can I go in here? No. Ooh. She has she has sh shadow clone no jutsu. Guess I might have to go back down. Oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> <More of this. laughs> right. Be gone, demon! The power of Christ compels you. Right. Uh, let's try to go downstairs. She was there for a, she was there for a moment. She was there again. Dios mío, Santa Maria. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back down again, I guess, because I don't. I'm not, I'm not sure what to do. Oh, come on! Ah. <laughs> Mortis. Maybe we should have like a Mortis meter or something, because we already had like, what, five? Five times? 
She moves she moves real quick. I gotta be on my guard. Yeah, not 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 a bug. That time I, I was just looking in the in the wrong direction. So I, I just gotta be careful myself. You're too late, she says. Right, let's quickly go around these corners. Can I do something here? Or Oh, I figured there would be... If Joel... Javier actually did horror without failing. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, no haunting. That was a real close. Wait, so what am I doing actually? I love that I like I like the the buzz of the 8-bit thing in the background. Got louder as she came close. Oh hey, there is there isn't a thing following me around now. Oh I, I just needed to like exercise her several times, that's it. Okay. I guess now we can go. Washing machine had a purple hint? Wait, really? Let me check that out. I think I'm safe now, by the way. I think I'm safe. She doesn't seem to be coming after me for now. This? Or, or, or was it a different one? Hmm. Or was it like upstairs or something? This is the one thing I miss from being on Twitch. The only thing I miss from Twitch is the low latency. It was much better for interacting with the audience. In a timely manner. Right. Uh, no, while it's safe, while it's safe, I'm gonna go around the house one more time. Because uh, while I have this opportunity, because I might not later. <laughs> No. No, no, no. I think it's fine. I think it's perfectly fine. Whatever. Let's just let's just go. Hmm. Might be might might have been her spawning. I see. I see. <laughs> okay. I'm sure things will be perfectly. Fine, in this attic. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She... 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 My superior, father... With... When I confronted her, she... Managed to cut the power to the house and... Her own parents with their own... I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. John. <laughs> the rock the rubber ducky is the source of her power. <laughs> yeah, I exercised the ducky before. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be doing that. Saved. Oh, there you go. My god, what happened to you? Do you see my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. What are you, a Kuchisake on that or something? Damn. Time for a boss fight. Oh, 
the, this little funny spirit can't be. I gotta kite it around. Or let me use some of my Toho expertise for misdirection. Never mind, that doesn't work that way. Oh! What is a man? Good face. Oh! Oh, come on! <laughs> More this. I love this game's animations, by the way. Wait, what? Mortis. Oh, you just want me to dodge that, I guess? <laughs> Alright, I gotta use my Dark Souls dodge roll. Good thing I'm on... <laughs> yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta use my Dark Souls dodging abilities. Where is my Carfus Milk Ring? Uh. Ugh. I guess if I go like diagonally, that gives me a decent shot at dodging regardless of how she moves. Yeah. It's all about being di diagonal. Yeah. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got this, I got this, chat, don't worry. Yeah, and burn her a little bit. Nice. I got it, I got it. Probably. Oi, 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 oi. Now I'm, I'm only looking at uh, the, my YouTube chat. I was. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> but at least we're on like phase. At least we did that phase. Talk with the writing. Okay, I think to be fair, that was my fault for just standing in that exact spot, walking in there. Yeah, speaking of which. <laughs> Is she attacked? Oh, she did seem to get burned for a little bit. Can I not just, like, go here? I guess I meant... Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Oh. <laughs> Pinball with extra steps. <laughs> So she moves three times. I see that now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Wait, so she goes she goes towards me and I guess I have to dodge that, that dodge that again. She moves three times. Or maybe I have to like exercise a little bit but not too much. Oh out of out of my range. Bam, and then she's gonna be there. Oh I can't dodge that. Yeah, maybe I have to, you know, like, only do a little bit at a time. Like so. And down. Oh, come on! <laughs> yeah, I guess it does want me to dodge, actually. Oh, come on! Okay, this is getting a little silly at this point. This boss fight is a little awkward. I'm only gonna do like a little bit. Like they're saying, stay in the center? Maybe. Oh! Oh, come on. Mortis! Mortis! I wonder what the purpose is of that, like, circle of runes. Like, does that do anything specific? What? Oh, okay, wait, if I stay, like, far away, she doesn't seem to come after me as much? Now left. Oh. Oh. We done? Okay, good, good. Gamer. Bye. Achievement unlocked. The first time, the last time. Is what it says. Anything in the window? No. Anything on the floor? No. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> hmm. Hey, rubber ducky, you were behind all of this, right? Yeah, you are the real villain here. The duck devil. <laughs> the rubber duck devil. That's, that's, that's an upcoming Chainsaw Man antagonist. Kill her. Okay. Chapter 1, yeah, yeah. I remember there are multiple endings to this. I remember that you can... Uh... I think there is a way you can kill yourself. Like some place in the woods lets you do that. There is you can do like a satanic ritual. And you can kill the demon that lives here in the woods. Hope you save. Do I like have to I, I don't save like manually in this game. Hey demon, you gonna come out or now I'm back in heat? Hmm. All right. Hmm. 
I'm not sure that was a good idea. <laughs> kind of creepy now, with nothing in the woods here. It's like how going back the way you came in Hotline Miami always feels kind of creepy, you know, after, you know, the music stops playing. Like, level clear, now leave. Uh oh. Well, guess I'm leaving for real then. What's over here? Chapter 1 says you have one of X endings. Yeah, yeah, I know there are multiple to this chapter. I know, I know there are multiple. Oh, anything in here? Although I've... I guess not. Although there's probably... Yeah, I have the cross. Uh, it's probably because I already shot her. That's, we're, we're probably locked into a specific ending now. Which is, you know, fine. Again, there's an ending where you can kill a deer to perform a ritual on it. And there's some way, I remember, you can kill yourself and you can also kill the demon that lives in these woods. Oh yeah, this is... This is probably the deer that you can kill. Hello. Don't worry, friend. You will live another day. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna leave. Bye. Uh oh. Game over, ending one of five, murderer. Police arrest a man accused of murdering a missing girl. A New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper report reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly, repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy, Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It is suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust. After Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. <laughs> New background unlocked. Gary loves you. Gary loves you. Cool. I wonder if we can load and see other endings now. New blood. Let's see, chapter one. If I, if I continue now. Yeah, yeah, it puts me, puts me back here. Okay, let's see what else we can do. So you're saying... You're saying I can pick up the coat for some reason? Oh, I well, I just wasted a bullet. <laughs> By accident. Wait, what, what's up with the coat? Hang on. Uh, quit the main menu, yeah. I saw a store fall from heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue. I just uh, by accident just shot shot the gun. Let's try doing the other endings. At least a couple, not not all of them. But what's up with the coat? 
Is there something else in the house? There's no spirit following me. I should kill the rubber ducky, actually. I, I bet that's what leads to the true ending. Kill. Kill, huh? Right, let's find that deer, first of all. Well, does the map show me anything? No, I guess not. I wonder if... Maybe we'll stumble across a demon as well. The rubber ducky sus. <laughs> That's the real source of everything here. I love the Breaking Bad theory about the pool in Walter's house being the source of, of everything. Like it's some kind of evil entity that is behind it all. Or just some kind of cosmic horror that causes him to lose his sanity. Hello? Who are you? I, I don't know who this is. <laughs> I just shot some, someone. <laughs> Can we help cheat you? No, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's it's fine. I'm just gonna check out like one or two more endings and... Including this one and we'll just continue to chapter two. Because I wanna get to chapter three. That's the real good stuff that I haven't seen. Oh, oh, it's... Jesse, we have to exorcist! <laughs> oh, here's a deer, here's a deer. Right, so what does this ending give us? What does this give us? Hmm. Yeah, two out of X. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh! <laughs> Esteemed Cardinal, Cardinal Gifford, with all the respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. Wait, isn't this chapter 2? In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let the fight against the enemy at such a critical fate. Oh, let, let up the fight against the enemy. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may not be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Right. That was one thing. Continue. Oh, that's, that's not... The endings aren't actually notes that we get. Interesting. And that was not the demon that we were supposed... That I mentioned that you can shoot. I meant the white one that was stalking me in the forest. Wait, that's a fellow priest? Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I see. I didn't know that, actually. Okay, so I went uh, right here at the well. I'm gonna go for the deer first, and then we'll try to leave without doing anything. Just with the gun. There we go. And now you perform like a ritual or something. Wait, do I need to do anything? No. Okay, maybe I just have to leave like normal. <laughs> the, the, the freaking white demon appearing in my car. <laughs> Okay, okay. I mean, this chapter is nice, but I feel chapter 2 is where it gets real good. You gained 30, 30 pounds of food. Oh! Oh no. 
We have an we have angered the dear god. <laughs> Ending four, the hunter. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. A spokesperson, spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect that this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a clean, cleaned white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears, appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Right. Right. Right now, continue. So we did three already. And I guess the other remaining two endings might be shooting the demon and leaving, I guess. So Amy is here to the left. Right. Look, look at look at how the the gun is kind of like <laughs> not 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 perfectly in line with my character here. That, that, that's that's cute. That's real cute. Oregon Trail reference. Ah, right, right. <laughs> Leave first. Is there anything with this squirrel? Wait, I'm pretty sure I remember there being some kind of ritual, though. Alright, let's leave then. Because I don't remember where the demon is anyway. Or is it just gonna, like, attack me here? <laughs> Sorry, I I'm, I'm gonna pull, pull the trigger first. I'm not, I'm not letting that thing kill me. Yeah, the demon got is a kite. Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. I guess, I guess this is the true ending. Yeah, when the faith endures. Police animal exp experts investigate Chupacabra <laughs> remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the, the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal which some residents are calling a Chupacabra <laughs> were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appear appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were some kind of animal. As a matter of public security, safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said a Sterling police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's some mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners, or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, 
a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animal and children who have not received enough sunlight. <laughs> the, the day I in, in reincarnated as a chupacabra. <laughs> right, so do I just let the demon attack me or something in the last ending? I mean, at this point we've seen four or five, so we might as well check out the other one. <laughs> might as well just go all the way. A dog with one bullet. But I'm pretty sure there was like a ritual, though. I I, sw I swear. There there was some some you could you could do like a ritual with the deer, I think. There where the where the the, the dead squirrel was. I think that was a squirrel. Right, well, I guess I'm gonna let the demon attack me or something. And that's gonna give me another ending? The 4 or 5 ending is just you using the cross on a stone circle. Ah, okay. So... Oh, it's just Mortis. <laughs> okay, it's just Mortis. And it doesn't let me leave. It doesn't let me go into the car. Okay. Cross on a stone circle, so... Let, let's see then. Do I just waste the bullet then? Yeah, yeah, we just we just saw just insta mortis. I figured there would be something else, but right. So let's check out the stone circle, and I guess I have to waste the bullet. Uh, although I might have to. Uh, well, well, let's try first. Of all. Oh, oh, you can shoot that thing again. Wait a minute. That's that is not what I expected, and I don't seem to be able to do anything here. I thought I might like have to go to the deer and shoot the deer and come back here, but I guess not. Hmm. Interesting. So let's see if this is. Yeah, this is probably something different. <laughs> I didn't even think that was a shootable object. Oh yeah, here we go. This is this is it, yeah. Uh oh, cultists on the road. Just drive through, man. Ending three of five, the offering. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. I got an achievement, which I guess might mean that was all of them. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are able to handle your own life. Oh, th th this sounds like a US Army recruiter talking here. <laughs> you are so mature for your age. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. Yeah, this is just completely groomer, groomer speech here. We are having a get together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there. New chapter mode unlocked. <laughs> right? Yeah, achievement says find all endings in chapter one. That's all of them. Cool. So, uh, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I, I wanna, I wanna get get through the game. Well, I'm gonna check out some of the the funny modes later or whatever the the game has. I'm gonna check that out some other time. Prolo prologue. Chapter two is where I think the game is gets real good. This is where the real spooky stuff is. Crooks. 
and I'm a different priest. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him, return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by your office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. I got a feeling that's not, that's not what's gonna happen. I can't interact with the Bible. This says the Bible. One day. Looks looking like a perfectly normal kid. I'm sure he looks fine in the other, other pictures. Yeah, two weeks. Three months. Good, good. He's fine. He's, he's doing fine. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. You know nothing, pendejo. Yeah, I guess this guy is the demon that haunts the woods in chapter 1. Alright, well, thanks for stopping by. I'm not gonna do everything today, I'm just gonna do like 3 hours or something. That I think is good enough. So I, I don't stream very often, I'm gonna continue this next Saturday, so I only do twice a week. But uh, I'm gonna be there continuing this on Saturday. So, look forward to that, and I appreciate you tuning in. Uh-oh. Nice eye. Dios mio, what have you done? I have somebody as a pig! You got my trap boat, Evo. You shall bring the wrath of the Almighty. Hmm, it's 2 a.m. Oh, and now we are back as uh, John. Our good blue friend, John Ward. Dios mio! What have you done? Well, have you forgotten already? The notes, people. Oh, that, that, that's just a tutorial. Right. Just a tutorial for people who forgot. Oh. Oh, bye bye, Mr. Deer. This seems normal. Again, perfectly. Fine. Not notice, aviso. Oh, aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any un unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Ah. I am here. Good. Oh, they, they have, like, motion sensors here. Nice, nice. That is an awful sound. That is an awful sound. Right. One of these gravestones is definitely haunted. Yeah. Any other ones? What about the tree? Nope. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Oh. Dearest disciple, 
Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must fir first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the safe family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. Gary. <laughs> Just Gary. That's the name of the guy that's behind all of this. And it says save. Because in this part you actually have a manual save function. When I was applying to universities... Enter the spirit house. Oh, oh hang on. Hang on, before I continue, continue with this anecdote. Hmm. Seems, seems fine. I bet Gary is the rubber ducky. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, the, the, these like animations in this are real good. So when I was applying to university, in one of the universities, uh, the guy in charge of recruitment was <laughs> was a guy by the name of Benjamin Archdeacon. Benjamin Archdeacon. It was his name, and I was, and I thought, wow. That is the most villainous name I have ever seen in the real life. Like, god damn! <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and, and, and I also, I'll admit, I kind of copy-pasted the messages I sent to universities. And uh, B Mr. Archdeacon sent me back, he, he was a message back to me, he was a little suspicious. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute, he was like, are these details right? You, you, you're kind of... Your details here kind of don't match. And I'm like, oh, no, no, sorry, uh, that, this is how it was. Uh, so, no, sorry. Uh, like, ah, that guy, that guy was onto me in a fucking second, alright? So I am absolutely dead, deadly, like, convinced that he is a villain in real life. Anyway, uh, these statues here, they, they do something that we're gonna... Uh, that they are a solution to a puzzle that I'm gonna figure out in a moment. Uh. There's a demon. <laughs> uh, Archdick said, said you're sus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Benjamin Archdeacon was immediately like... He immediately knew I was sketchy. Losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. Uh oh, that's not a good idea. That night my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's house. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Oh. Spooky. Well, now the statues are headless. Uh, it's like... I don't yet know I don't yet know what this corresponds to, but this seems to kinda of point like upwards. This may be left. Right, up, left, and raised hands. I don't exactly remember exactly what this puzzle looks like, so. Oh! Right, hang on. Let's let's that's what it is. It's one of these puzzles. It, it's a place that loops around. Okay, so... So this might be just the left, up... R right, up, left, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember this. I remember this. Up. Left, up. Huh. 
A real original. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Now what? Do I just go up again? Or... Huh. Well, that... <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, that's definitely... It's not... This, this isn't down, is it? Oh, come on. Right? No, down, down will just take me back, right? Right, up, left, up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, except no. This is gonna be embarrassing if I get stuck here. Oh! Okay, there we go. Whew. Yeah, this game is properly spooky. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. First at the top left point and then down. Right. That reminds me, in middle school I would sometimes impress people by drawing an eight-pointed star in like one motion. Let me take a quick sip of my beloved apple peach juice. And I guess I'm gonna go up. Huh? Wait a minute, what? I figured the looping would be gone now, but... Well, this is strange. Same, but I draw the S symbol thingy of the cool S. I, I, I actually integrated the cool S into my upcoming VTuber design. Okay, I, I am I am confused. Look, I'm gonna save and maybe check out the other other section for now. Something in the statue. Yeah, oh, oh, there's only one man here now. The other two left. Wait, so... Oh, it, oh, it saved automatically when I came in here, right, right. Oh, and only two of these are lit up now. This is probably though because I defeated two demons here. At least I assume that's the case. Let's let's check this place out. Yeah, I, I like the cool S. I I know how to draw the cool S. You catch you caught two out of three legendary Pokemon. Uh, this looks creepy. Hmm. Is something gonna try to attack me here? I should give this like a mysterious name. Like let's say Project Axolotl. Because by the way. Oh that that's what happens, okay. Cause Well me and my friend are we're working on a VTuber mobile. Oh hey, this statue moved. This statue moved. Yeah, we're wor working on a VTuber model. Hey, hey, none of that, alright? None of that. And once that happens, 
I'm, I'm gonna make a new YouTube channel. I'm gonna do more of everything. I'm gonna improve everything. Just wait. Just wait until you see, because we're cooking up some good stuff. But there's a little more to it than just the VTuber model. Hang on. Wow, nice umbilical cord. Oh, I have to dodge. Mortis. First Mortis in uh, this chapter, I think. So anyway, there is uh, some personal stuff I have to take care of before we can properly begin my new VTuber operations. That's why I should put, give this up a serious title like Project Axolotl. I'm not gonna go into details, but let's just say I'm gonna have a lot more streaming time once that happens. Oh, come on! He like touched me on a, on a, like my, my my little toe with his freaking cord and that caused me to die instantly. That caused me to die like a freaking furniture in Elden Ring. You know, in the Souls franchise, f chairs and tables just explode when upon the slightest touch of a human body. Right, get over here. Oh. This guy looked like a lizard, actually. He looks like a, some kind of man frog or something. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big warm smile. Somehow it made these visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman was standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckons towards me. I followed her into of the path into the woods, that's when I met Gary. Looks like the frog meme in the unit unicycle, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, it's, it's that demon. Right, probably a good idea to save. Uh oh, there is something in the mirror and all the people are gone. Oh, I'm bleeding. That's, that seems normal. Right, let me just save. Wait, so is there nothing here on... In this section? I mean, I did defeat the demon here, but I guess this is just like... I guess there was just nothing here after all. Yeah, I think this just repeats endlessly. <laughs> That's not how you use a key, Pastor. Yeah, there's nothing there, so let's just keep going. Or is there? <laughs> gate. Can I? Nice fucking gate. Hmm. Uh. I guess I'll guess I'll go around. Hmm. The trees, they move. Hmm. Right. 
right. Oh. There's someone there. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Oh, there's no map in this game. In this chapter. Uh, I wonder if going here... <laughs> Groot. Mr. Scarecrow? Definitely haunted. I knew that. I had to come back, I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dog? The children? The thing that took him? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the cor crops. I, I read that as corpses. Through the crops. It was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back and that's when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around, we just stood there. Me, the scarecrow and the doomed child. Finally I mustered, mustered a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It immediately, immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. It, I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. Cute. It's real cute. There's a lot of corn. There's a lot of freaking corn. I wonder, will it come if I just stay here? Will there be some kind of demon? I guess, I guess not. At least I don't think there was anything. Right. Uh, I guess I'll just head into the this church. Confess five sins. <laughs> the corn demon. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, an enormous beer and a beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits who... Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But lastly... But there was this spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it was had to, has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome, we're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. <laughs> right. Uh, I, I remember that in this part, the candles, uh, they somehow, I think, signify the presence of a demon. I remember something weird happens to them if there's something nearby. And there is a lot of weird things in this chapel here. Night 3. Shouldn't have come here. Tapes missing. Lo Lars stuck behind the basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Whoa. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeds have you yet to get this? I try to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. 
I'm sure this is a perfectly normal person in there, in that confessional. Oh. Candles? Oh yeah, I can exercise that. Bleeding eyes. Seems, seems fine, seems fine. Night 1. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can get these boards off of some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. Wait, what's that? You can't hear it on the tape very well, but, uh, but to us it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank god we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get it back into town. Yeah, perfectly normal priest inside. Uh, I can't. I can't seem to go in here. Hmm. I'm gonna show you something just as a little brief <laughs> segue. Because I, I thought it was incredibly funny. <laughs> Hang on, I have these images here somewhere. Just a, a brief little, you know, interlude here. Have you seen the AI ramen meme that was going around the internet lately? <laughs> so, in case you don't know, apparently Making ramen is something the AI simply cannot do. Making ramen is impossible for AI. So there have been... I think Madoka Higuchi wasn't the first one, but there are images of the idol master girl, Madoka Higuchi, trying to eat ramen, and she's just completely failing. <laughs> oh no. But it was, it was it was fantastic. And there are just so freaking many so many of these goddamn images there wasn't oh i don't know i don't know if i don't know if mr john youtube is gonna be fine with me showing this one apparently she likes to eat them while nude but <laughs> there was this one of course this four he's making Nishkina from love life in the top left but one was just a freaking face in the ramen and the bottom left girl just has the nudes on her Chest, you know, that, that's exactly how I eat my ramen. That, it's perfectly human, you know? And of course... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And of course, the perfectly logical conclusion, I actually tried to generate something like this myself, but someone made this before me. Madoka Higuchi taking in the freaking... <laughs> taking a ramen bath. This one, oh, amazing. And that seems to be like electricity under that. Like, I don't know if that's meant to be an electric stove or something, like an AI's representation of that. There seems to be a cable going into the, the bowl, which uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that's perfectly safe. But uh, yeah, Madoka, I hope you have a good one. There's another one, which this one's even weirder because <laughs> you can tell she has no lower body in here. This is after she got cut in half like Darth Maul, and she has to sit in a bath of, in a tub of ramen just to heal her wounds. And, and, and hang on, wait, these are the best ones. Although I, I think, Mr. Monja, you've seen these two. Shiroko from Blue Archive, eating her freaking scarf. Because <laughs> the AI just got completely confused. And this one just went next level. Shiroko. Just, but this time it just filled her freaking scarf with ramen instead of everything else. Hang on, let me get rid of all the other ones. <laughs> just filled her freaking scarf and made that into a bowl of ramen. It's it's insane. It's <laughs> <laughs> and this one, the the freaking last supper, the freaking last supper of anime girls eating. Ramen just 
This is this this should be on a on like a museum or something. This this should be passed down in history. I need that ramen scarf. <laughs> uh, it's great. Just had me laughing the whole time. And now of course we have some VTubers jumping onto that meme as well, because Polka and Mito also did things that share pictures of them just eating ramen with their hands. <laughs> Ah, it's great. Well, one of these candles went out. But I guess that just shows that making ramen is just an impossible obstacle for AI. <laughs> that just shows that not everything machines can do. Eat ramen like burger. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, that closed. I thought that. I thought, I thought that opened. No, that just closed. But there's some kind of trapdoor that we can uh, open. Hmm. What is that? I can't. I can't quite tell what I'm looking at. Although I think. Yeah, I, I guess this stained stained glass is like broken, hence the black parts. But this is probably like an angel. It's probably just an angel or something. Yeah, here is some kind of saint. I can't seem to interact with anything just yet. There is some meaning to these candles, I remember that. There is some meaning to these. Hmm, this seems fine. Oh. Yeah, this is definitely, you know, Christian artwork. Night 2. We're gonna be rich. We caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Yeah, I'm sure. And what about this one? Just a cross. Can't interact with it. How many notes do I have? Oh, it. Oh, yeah, there, there is a lot. Tw 27. Basement door still closed. Mmm, creepy. Again, I keep saying this, but I really love this game's vibe. This game's style is just fantastic. Cross with an eye. And now all of them are gonna fall down, right? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. That's good. That's real good. The candles, I think, either they show a demon or something. I forget. Do I have any items? Don't, don't think so. Mm. I can't look at these. <laughs> yeah, watch the candles. I, I am looking at them. But so far... Doesn't seem like there's anything out of the ordinary. Oh, Skull, I didn't look at... I didn't look at it up close before. Why is there like a purple Skull? Can I go here now? No. And I was here already. Now there... No, wait, this blood This blood was here previously, yeah. It, this, was, this was already here. And I already exercised this. I gotta figure something out. Hmm. Maybe the candles are like pointing me somewhere. Hmm. I don't exact. Oh!
Oh, I didn't point my cross in the right direction. Come at me, demon. Well, that's gonna be... Bye-bye! The power of Christ compels you. And all the candles went out. In here, too. Mm. Darkness surrounds thee. Achievement unlocked. Who's watching me now? There is a section in this chapter that's like really creepy that we're gonna get to later. This is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well what that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done, I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man. I'm going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Right, I don't remember if this, if this is like right here, but there is a very... I think it's in the... like. If, I think it's in the tunnels later. The abandoned tunnels where the hobos were. I think that's the real creepy part, because that's where you, you're, you're like followed by spirits and you like can't see anything around you. Uh. Ah, good. Wait, so I might have to check uh, there's no, there's no way I'm gonna memorize this. But I have the power of technology. Screenshot, that's right. MS Paint, you are my only, my only friend in these dark times. <laughs> right. Now we can do this puzzle. But I don't know where to start, I guess. Let, let, let me try starting with the symbol that's on the top. Oh. More this. Hmm. I don't... wait. I don't, I've seen this number already. Yeah. The order is still the same, right? It's, it's not. It's not. An, it's not an. It's not a neighborhood situation where you have to like memorize symbols that change in every playthrough. Right. Let me try that again. Maybe I have to step on the eye. Right. Oh, this one. This one's gonna be dangerous. Damn. Spooky. Now this one. Wait, it's not doing anything. It, it, it is this one. It looks like this one is. What about the... Oh. Okay. The big, big evil, like, centipede creature. Do I just step on anything? <laughs> I'm getting the impression that it's like moving faster every time I step on one of these. Uh oh. Whoop! Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what it wants me to do here. Symbols. Again, I have those screenshotted. Hmm. 
Hmm. Wait, is there 12 symbols? Because... 3, 3, 3. There is... Well, it's missing one. Wait, which one is... N I s right? One of these symbols isn't on here. Memo said the clock hands doesn't move past two. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, right. That, that, that was a... <laughs> right. Okay. So that's, that might be why this one wasn't working, because this is two on the thing here. This is 12. And uh, this one here on the far right, it, this is one. Quick. What? <laughs> uh, you gotta be real quick with that one. Right. Let's try it. Try it again. Boom. One, three, two, one, shoe nice. Oh come on! How did I do how did I do it the first time? How how the hell did I do it the first time around? Uh, the first time with these things is always always the best. And yeah, th this this floor here is missing the symbol that's in eleven on the diagram before. I think you need to start at 2 o'clock. Hmm. Okay, let me try that. No, it doesn't do anything. This is this is 2. And this X is 3. Hmm. Since the clock doesn't go past 2. I'm gonna try to start here. No, the same thing. No, I think I just need to be faster. But I did that before, didn't I? I don't know, it's weird. Or maybe I just need to, I don't know, leave. Wait, so if the clock is on two... Yeah, c calm down, demon. Wait, why can I why can I step on it multiple times? <laughs> Weird. Uh, that would kind of make sense though, though, right? Because I would be like two, and then and then the minute the minute hand would be on twelve, which is this. I don't know, or 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 maybe I'm meant to. Let me read this again, maybe I'll... for fuck's sake. Even now the hands don't move past two, oh, that, that, that's all it says, okay. Uh, no, stop. <laughs> Put me back in! Oh no. This puzzle may be too, too much for my tiny little brain. No, but seriously though, I, I man managed to do this before. And I can't go right. Wait, I'm, go I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna start moving from the right. Wow, that was my worst one yet. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. This has to work. Come on. Right. And now. Oh, I 
did it. See, now this is the symbol for two, but it doesn't doesn't work. I, I know, I know what a clock. I know what a clock looks like. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what this why this isn't working. So this is this here is two. This is three. Uh, this one is four. This one is four. This one to the right here. This is five. Hmm. Or what if no? Wait, now it allowed me to step on it. The hell? <laughs> what? What if I just leave? Is it even gonna let me do something like that? Yeah, you follow the path starting at 2. Ah, okay. Well, let's start at 2 then, I guess. Oh, so maybe if the darkness comes, maybe that means that I'm doing it wrong? So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, I, I thought that meant I was doing it right. Because demon bad, yeah, I guess. Nether of demons, also known as the Netherlands. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh. Now we're fine. And we came out out of like some shitty like shed in the woods. Let's see where this leads us. Oh, and I can get rid of the, the screenshot because it's covering my second screen. Calm down, Mr. Deer, right? There's no need for that. These are the same symbols. Three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killings, Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood Angel Nogales and Troy Inglis are names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium Regnat. That, yeah, that makes sense. That would definitely be in an actual newspaper article. Two of the victims' bodies were, almost por were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery where a residence, residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading, leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several murders that have occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killings may be connected to the last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Ward had impersonated, impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. I don't think that's true. Uh oh. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Nogales and Inglis because after all they were degenerate evil worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack, cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. Oh, that's who those people were. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug-addict drug bodies. 
and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the head is the only way to kill a snake. Well guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldn't, couldst, couldst, couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she's at thy door, her hand is at thy throat, yet you, sh yet you see her not. I will have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnat satani vitae. Pandemonium regnat satani vitae. Just continues. Six, six, six. Oh, it's an upside down cross. I'm here, John. Oh. Oh, uh I am now a creature. Cool. Oh. Oh, that. that. I mean, I, I've seen this before. I've seen chapter two before, but this this is cr real creepy. Wait, there's an arrow pointing to something. What if I go back back down? Nope, I'm normal now. Everything is normal, actually. I kind of miss being as fast as that creature was, though. Because now it's real slow. Speaking of slow... Oh, I, I can't go back up here. I can't, go, I can't go in there, it doesn't let me. We gotta go this way. I think you can attack these people while you are the creature. Candy tunnel. Actually, yeah, hang on, I, w I wanna see that. The game just saved, so it's fine, uh, but quit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Erdorf. Uh, chapter 2, continue. Yeah. I think you can go like here and attack him. No? Or maybe if you like go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I remember this, I remember this. <laughs> I thought it would be like a cutscene that takes control away from me, but no, it doesn't. That was all me. There's an arrow. Oh, Erdorf. <laughs> and I get Isekai. What? Oh, oh, it just puts me back here. <laughs> right. I guess that was our equivalent of Mortis. Now let's continue. I remember this. This candy tunnel, this is where things get really creepy. Death awaits. Of course, there has to be a sewer level. Death metal band name. <laughs> yeah. There's an eye. What does this say? Deal? Or... Whatever that is. Maybe it's like upside down. No, I can't read that. What about this? Nope. It's probably just... I mean, there's, a, there's the Anarchy logo. It's probably just dumb graffiti. Aelstar! Multiple officers wounded, one dead in a sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy, who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire. 
in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after the police raided the tunnels, where suspected murderer Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bauman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the ca casualties from the tunnels. Mm. Satan lives. Oh no, not Satan. There's something red here. You see that? You, you can calm down there, demon. Hmm. This skeleton isn't haunted. Oh no, yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be home to addicts, gangs, runaway, runaways, and the indigent, has been in the site of severe, several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Calm down, C calm down, game, calm down. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels, amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bauman, aka the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. Cool. Very cool. Wait, I'm back here. That's, that's, that's not where I was. Oh. These tunnels. These tunnels are already not letting me leave. They're not letting me leave. Cool. That's great. That's very cool. Oh! You see that? Oh. I wasn't paying, at paying attention, so I only saw it in the corner of my eye, but something moved there. Something red. Neko. Neko? Arrows. You know, the upside down cross isn't actually. Not only is it not a satanic symbol at all, it's actually a Christian symbol. Read. Like, people think it's satanic because, haha, upside down, so it must be like, you know, the opposite, must be evil, but no. The upside down cross is how Saint Peter was crucified. Specifically because he asked to, by the way. Because he was like, well, I can't be. He was like, I don't deserve the honor of dying the same way as Christ did, so put me upside down. <laughs> That's literally what he did. Read. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh no, GBF player's weakness, read! I can't read! Hello, Mr. L Illuminati. Good old... Oh. More of this. <laughs> right. So we're, now we're back at the entrance. Okay. So I figured that if I... I figured they might, there might have been something if I go up here, but no, it's, it's the same sequence as this. But now I can look at that red thing. Now, I c Yeah. I see you now. I see you now. And, and it's still there. Mm. Wait, what? Oh. Oh! This is what I have to read. When... When you see it, don't move. Ah. Yeah, you seem fine. You're a friend. Yeah, just... Bye-bye. 
Cool. <laughs> nice. Hang on. At first I had my blinds down because, you know, had to. we had some kind of vibe, but now it's getting like actually dark, so I had to turn my lights on. Squid game. My eyes are old and weak. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit in complete darkness, even for the purpose of a horror game. Pelo! Nice blood trail. Can't go in there. I guess I'm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come to pass right through, the, right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laugh, laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. Alright. Oh. Well, guess I'm dead. <laughs> oh, creepy. Let's let me try that again. Let me try that again. Cause now I know what's coming. Imagine if the game like did something different now. Like imagine if now it did it completely different and or maybe you just didn't do this encounter at all. At all. I will bless you, child. I guess I can leave. I'm, I'm being really careful. I'm being really careful. Uh, so now, what do I go right? Yeah. Hmm. This seems fine. When I was a boy, my nana used to tell me old legends about the dragon's trolls and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. Those are just, just go, those are just called Norwegians. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil, one sacrifice per year, so that the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bumps and the tweakers. The ones with grid and the child prostitute runaways. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around. Except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to god it never gets tired of them. I don't think I can go further to the right. Yeah. So now what? I guess I leave this way? Yeah, now I'm like, not too sure. I mean, now we're just gonna go back to the section that loops in on itself, loops in on itself and doesn't let me like actually leave. Oh, I should, yeah. 
I mean, we've, we've seen this before. This is not new. We've seen this before. And this skeleton too. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe now? Satan lives. <laughs> uh, it's, it's great. You know, I did my own fair share of sinful and evil deeds. A couple days ago, I got, on a, I got on a bus and I got a student discount. And I'm not even a student anymore. <laughs> Truly devilish. I, I hate that like musical build up. Even though I know nothing is coming. It's still... Okay, but seriously, wh where am I going? Or do I, do I, like, go up, maybe? No, you can't go up. You can't go up. You can only go this way. <laughs> you monster, yeah. Wait, here? Ah! Right. That's, that's where, that's why the arrows were there. Hmm, creepy pipe. Because every game needs a sewer level. Hmm. Wait, but is there is there anything this way? Nope. No, there isn't. I just 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 a wall. Let's see. I'm sorry, God, please save me. And symbols now. I'm, I'm sure this next room... Uh, ...is gonna be... ...perfectly safe. Oh, it actually is fine. There, there is nothing here. Ah. Now that, that is a good hole. That is a very good hole. Hang on, let me check this out first. Ah. That might have been a mistake. Uh. Oh. Ah. More this. Right. Let's try it, try it again. Before we go into that evil hole over there because that does not look good. Come on, demon. Round two. Will you I think I beat him. Ooh. Anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. Right. I was expecting lights to stop working in all the other sections of the tun tunnels, but no, for now we can at least see. <laughs> Game says it looks <laughs> just light. Cute, real cute. 
Okay, time to go into the mistake hole, because this is definitely not a good idea to go in here. What's that say? I couldn't read that. Oh. The... They hate the light. Right. Is there something around me? It's light. That's, that was new. Oh. Yeah, this is... Now, now the game is getting like seriously creepy. Even though it's, even though it's just simple visuals. It's pretty effective. Oh, oh, I can go in here. Oh, boosh! <laughs> More this. Damn! Okay. Locked. It's locked. Now let's go in here. Oy, oy. Wow. This is debated. Hmm. I do not like this. Hang on. How fast are they? Is there something? Alright, whoa. I pushed them in. Hmm. See, this is a proper spooktober game. This is properly scary. This section is... Oh. Key. Right. Ah. Wait, what? I, I, can't, I can't cross this. Does it want me to do something back there, I guess? Yeah, cause it's... As you can see, it's not gonna let me walk in there. Uh, it doesn't... Hang on. Right. Let's continue. Though I really don't want to, it's getting scary. Whoosh. A good thing they're not very fast though. Cause... They hate the light. Ah! Right. Yeah, 
Okay. Well, he doesn't seem to be an enemy. I'm sure it's fine. Yes, it's true. Uh, right, sick. Let me just take a sip of water. Oh, use use this opportunity. Sorry, family family is here. You know how it is. I'm sure this isn't gonna be a boss fight. I know you can do this this section. The priest isn't necessary for this, I think. You can let him die and still finish the fight. But uh, I'm gonna try to, you know. And by the way, this demon also seems to be like kind of Japanese inspired. At least that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from this. Get back, demon! Yeah, I'm gonna keep him safe now. Leave my friend alone. Oh, I was a little close. Oh, yeah. oh for fuck's sake. Oh, wait, 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 what? Okay, maybe you need to like at least do a do one phase with him. I failed you, my friend. Oh, he goes like ran random. Phase. Like, like this is some kind of dark soul boss fight. But it really is like that. Yeah, yeah, stay back, stay back.
Okay. sounds oh no what are you she got him Machine demon. Where is she? My friend is gone. We done? Yeah. Hmm. The morning breaks. Hmm. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. No, friend. <laughs> I failed him. I'm not sure if that does, actually. Now come to think of it, I'm not sure if that does, actually. You know give you a different thing now. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived the nightmare. But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Yeah, save the boys. <laughs> and there's, a, there's like an evil guy in a, an SUV following me. Ending 2, Rose to Redemption. Alright. Ba-da-ba-bam! New effect unlocked. Wait, I wonder if that's like something in, that's in the options? Hang on, let's see. Options, effect, like here. Yeah, <laughs> toilet colors! <laughs> wow, wow guys, N this is... This is the best way to play this game. Now everything is exactly the way it should be. <laughs> Freaking toilet colors. Uh. Right. Extras. Conjuration mode. Coming soon. Replay intro. Credits. Ah. Conjuration mode. Best effect. <laughs> Marathon mode. All chapters in one session. Yeah, this I'm not gonna do. Uh, I, I think I'm fine with that. Now I think we can proceed. Let's continue. But f wait, first of all, though, let me see. Missing 13 notes. Damn. 
Really? That many? Huh. Whatever. Show needles. For Dinah. What, 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 what does that mean? Okay, so this should be now completely new to me. This should be completely new. 1986, so that's the year before the previous chapters. Good audio. <laughs> they talking underwater, yeah, it does sound like that. Okay. Nice car, by the way. He's got a fucking like, convertible or something. Ah, this house. This house. I can't use my cross. Can I look at this? Yes, yes I can. And it's the same painting. Or picture. What's this on the fridge? Oh, this is new. This was not here last time. Amy Martin. Bye, miss. You're just gonna stay back in the kitchen? Let's go, fellas. Oh, the, he's following me, I think. Wait, why are we in the attic now? This is not the right place. And my fellow priest is gone. Can I go back? <laughs> nope. Yeah, yeah, that's not right. That's not right. Three days until the profane sabbath. <laughs> Wait, what? John, we don't have much time. The profane sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nathan Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon of unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malfas. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. You must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. Father Garcia. Right. So again, this from this this point forward is completely new to me. I haven't seen this before at all. Sounds like a metal album. I'm not going in there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's a good idea to have something like this in your house, a, a room that you know. I'm not going in there. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. 
We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their plans. Vaya, con Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. I did see, like, there was a, like a teaser, like a demo or something, for chapter 3. But it, but it doesn't match what I'm seeing now. It was like, we had John, but he was exploring like a brown building that had many different floors. And there were like writing on the wall saying that the one of the floors wasn't real or something like that. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape. Yeah, just notes. I'm gonna exercise my sink. Right. Washing machine. Yeah, not nothing weird in here. It's, 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 all, it's all fine, this place is safe. <laughs> Maybe they were using the toilet effect. <laughs> Maybe. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't think so, no, I don't think so, because... I don't think that was implemented back then. Wait, so... Wait, so where do I go then? Because my basement seems fine. I just leave. Hmm, nice house. I guess so. Wait. Before I go, is there anything here? Am I gonna die again if I stand in the road? I guess not. Hello? What's that you're watching there? Probably demons, right? Definitely demons. Exercise the rubber ducky. Yeah, we don't have a rubber ducky in our house. No demons in my, you know, residency. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to the left, no? That chimney kind of kind of looks like it has a face. <laughs> He's playing faith. <laughs> Probably. What about? Now he's a whole family, and they're watching the same thing. Actually, interesting. And can't go this way. Okay, guess I'm gonna leave them. I think I've seen all I need. And no clown hiding here in the sewer, right? No clowns here. Good, good. Time to go. For a priest, he's doing pretty well for himself. I mean, if he has his own house and car. Whoa. What's that say? Leroy too? Hello George. Oh. Yes, I help for you, preacher. And the truck just says air door on it. I can't steal the police car. Can I die? Probably. Oh, that was the cultist. Mortis. Right, and he just puts me back here. <laughs> Truck. Is there anything here? There's a ratto. 
Brato. I wonder if the is the counter is gonna come again in the in the SUV. Yeah. Yes, I have no bias for you, Brato. Kawabana. What? What the hell does that mean? Vikala? <laughs> Possibly. Or, or just some other kind of ratto. Oh, there is the cool S, by the way. There is the cool S we were talking about. And in the balls. And a, a dog in a hat? <laughs> a dog with a hat. In the balls. I love the cool S. Not haunted. The cool S is confirmed not haunted. It's a holy symbol. That cool ass reminds me. I already mentioned that it's in the VTuber design, but... Beelzefest! Oh no, they're all gonna roll for Beelzebub. <laughs> Yo, the cool ass! Yeah! Calling all metal fans, Bielza Fest 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. 2 a.m., huh? Featuring appearances by When All Is Said and Done, Trust No Corpse, The Whore Is Dead, Basement 2, Return to Bondage Among the Bloodied, Lying Still in Silence, Mother of Shadow, and The Door to Afterbirth. These sound like song names more than band names. Sale tickets three dollars, admission at door five dollars. They're all gonna roll for BLs about in GBF. You feel watched. Hmm. Facts to Rhonda Erickson from Gary Miller. Oh, Gary. Hi Rhonda, just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy, our patients need to feel at ease with their healthcare experience. Remember our sales points, clean, quick, courteous. Cannibal Corpse album, yeah. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Mrs. Martin. One more thing, keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. And fa and fax. I've never seen a fax machine in my life. I'm from a time when, where there, there were still floppy disk drives in every computer, but I don't think I've seen a floppy disk being used myself. And I've definitely never seen a fax. I know about them. I know about pagers. But I've never seen them myself. Wow, this, uh... <laughs> Wait, are these all, like... ULGs? <laughs> okay, that one, that one's like a normal baby, but... This one here is, like, weird. My baby is beautiful, and the ultrasound just looks like this. Hmm. Oh, crowbar. Those guys from that ch chapel, the guys that we they were investigating paranormal stuff, they were talking about a crowbar. Now I am Gordon Freeman. Someone dropped a crowbar here. He's working a lot with still uses fax machines. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen them. And I've been to like a far amount of places with technology, but I guess it's just, you know. I guess you gotta be in a, in a company that just like. A company that refuses to get on with the times. Uh, 
I can only move like this. Is that fucking loss, by the way? <laughs> that's that's loss in 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 blood over there. You see it? It's fucking god damn it! <laughs> oh, wait. Where do you want me to hide? How the fuck am I meant to hide with this? Oh, yeah, I guess I'm not going that way. Bored. I'm gonna hide behind the loss. He's not gonna find me here. Loss, please protect me. I need to hide. <laughs> yeah, the loss is gonna protect me here. The blessing of loss is guarding me against the demon. Oh, I probably... I'm probably meant to leave now. Just, you know, real discreet. And I have to keep tapping it, I can't hold them. No, actually, how about I go up? It's funny, because it's also in the hospital. <laughs> Oh shit. Wait, how can you do that? Bro, he has fucking... Bro, he has fucking no clip on, what the hell? <laughs> right. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah, it's in it's also in the hospital. <laughs> I mean yeah, true. I don't think I would be able to go upstairs, but <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe it was downstairs. It was down it if it was downstairs, at least I would have been able to like crash my way down. And probably die in the process. Okay, now we can leave. Maybe I can hide like... I don't know. I need to hide. Here among these guys? This doesn't seem like a good idea. Never mind. I mean, can I go here? No. Right, at least. I mean, yeah, it does look upstairs, but it does look like it is upstairs. But what's so awesome? Oh! What the hell is going on here? You're coming with me, creature. Yeah, please let me get get me out of here. You'll just die to the demon. Wait, can I? Can I lead him to the demon? Hey, hey. Hey, Mr. Policeman, check, check this out. Check this out, it's real funny. Oh, there's no one here. Uh... Damn. <laughs> right. 
Let's just get out of here then. And don't look at the ultrasounds. Yeah, sure. You're gonna shoot it or what? Nice! <laughs> hey officer, look at this funny meme! <laughs> yeah. Push. Yeah, get his ass. Stay back from my... Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he fucking missed. Yeah, there we go. Get him. Get his ass. <laughs> That's teamwork for you. Is he still here? Yeah. At least it's, it's on, it only follows me and not my friend. Nice aim. <laughs> come on, come on, dude. Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Is it down? Right. You have anything to say? No, I guess not. I guess his car isn't gonna be working. What? Careful. Belief. I guess. Yeah, I guess I will. Achievement unlocked. Bells a baby. And it shows one of those ultrasounds we found. What book? Oh. The book is like flying out of my hands. Right. <laughs> La creatura. Jesus Christi. This reminds me of. Oh, wait, what, why are they here? Yeah, you guys gotta leave. Oh, oh they are coming with me. Right, right. This reminds me of. The Toho fan game, where the final boss is a Je Jesus girl. I'm gonna stream that one of these days. It's called Toho The Last Cover, and it's actually really goddamn good. It's genuinely really good. Yeah, yeah, but tr trust me, homie. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure the priest is still gonna be here. He's gonna be totally fine, right? Take it, saver. <laughs> Why did it play a, a jingle like it's some kind of like a power up in an old game? <laughs> uh. 
Like that suddenly become became like real goofy. Huh. Let's go. I'm not going in there. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Letters? John, for now this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven City. 06511. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. If for some reason I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. It sounded like Castlevania, you are now Belmont. <laughs> yeah. You got the Holy Cross. John. There's an apartment building in the New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malthus. I'm not able to go up there myself, it's up to you to stop the rituals. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help, They're, they are in their apartment. I see them all the time now, I can hear them in the darkness, I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place, Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either, they won't let me leave. Lisa. Damn. Let's check the basement now. Maybe something changed. Wait, wh what are these paintings? TV? Nope. Doesn't do anything. Fridge? <laughs> no, nothing uh, haunted, haunted in the fridge. Yeah, basement seems fine. This basement is like... Curiously spacious, you know, from a game design standpoint. Like, just the fact that it has so much space is like... And just the fact that it exists in the first place is like, uh oh, something's gonna happen here. But... Not now, I guess. I can't go there. Right, let's go. Hey, actually, let me talk to my neighbors before we leave. Let's see what my neighbors are up to. I'm sure they are all fine. Oh, this is the same scene, except it's something new on TV. Is that wrestling? I think it's wrestling because, you know, the ropes, maybe? <laughs> Ooh yeah, brother! Hulkamania running wild! <laughs> I'm the cream of the crop! Ooh yeah! It's WWE, yeah! <laughs> And they're all watching this, they're all watching the same show. They're all watching WWE. Alright, unfortunately we can't watch wrestling, we have to go and fight demons. <laughs> yeah, the macho man. Bonesaw is ready! Is that the Thanos truck? Is that the fucking Thanos truck? <laughs> this? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Oh hey, it's the same SUV though. We're on a good track. Cigarettes. I think this might be the building that I was talking about earlier, that I saw in like... a demo that they released for this chapter 3. Th I'm pretty sure this is, this is the building. Among the damned. Yeah, I think th I think this is it. I'm not. F Probably. There's gonna be a thing here that's gonna say like one of the floors isn't real and something something like that. Uh, R. Graham, L. Mitchell, H. Clark, B. Fry. Are there gonna be any like funny names? A. Boylan, T. Boone, R. Tillman, S. Montiel. J. Gonzalez, S. L. Shadwick, T. Robinson, 
the Egyptian among. N no? N no, no sus jokes yet. Among Us has done like irreparable damage to English as a language. L. Pearson, J. Anders Anderson, E. Lawrence, S. Gaines. Hello, Mr. Ward. I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country, so you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. I will take my from Lisa. That is not a real note from her. That is not good. Dish nuts. <laughs> yeah, no one like that named here. So it's 5A. Uh oh, basement. Oh. Ah. More this. Right. Then I guess we won't go in there. I I mean, all right. If the game wants me to check, then I will. Wait, Karen. That's not right. It it, it was Molly. It wasn't Karen. It was Molly on the note. The game is like trying to be funny with me now. Yeah. Yeah. Friend Tiffany. Yeah. So it's 5A or something like that? <laughs> Hang on. Let me go here first before we go up in the elevator. 1B. Who is Lisa, by the way? I, like, I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm not keeping up with my lore, but I don't remember who Lisa is. Can I go in here? No. Let me go. Let me go up there on foot. Two way. What the hell is that? Like a side dagger? Yeah. Or can I not take it with me? Oh, I can exercise it. No, I can't. It reacts to my cross, but it doesn't go away. Interesting. Is that a chessboard? Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven hmm by passing them through the hmm carved out of the impure vessel's face. Then shall the unspeakable reward the hmm with the second death. Such was the fate of that nice woman Amy. My beloved Gary has set his sights far too low. I will surpass her. <laughs> what? Yeah, the dagger is... It's lighting up, but it won't go away. It's too powerful. It's too powerful, it has its own power. Right. I'll, I'll keep that in mind though, it might be useful later. Wholesome Amy, yeah. Amy, Amy is nice, Don't, no need to be rude. 3A. Can't go in here. I'm completely ignoring the elevator. I'm just gonna go on. I'm just gonna go for the whole place on foot. But yeah, th I, this this must be the building I saw in the demo. Blood. Is the TV haunted?
Hmm, key. Cla Clavis 5A. Ah, wait, that's where, that's where we're meant to go, right? 5A is Lisa's apartment. Yeah, 5A. Hello, Amy. Good TV. Some good television. Uh, I was going right, right? Yeah. Good sounds. C calm down. Creepy. 4B? Not going in there. Kinda weird apartment apartment building to have only like two apartments per floor, but hmm, whatever you say. Well then again might might not actually be that weird. I'm sure there there are building buildings like this in the world somewhere. 5A I'm gonna explore the rest before we go in there. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game you must know the rules. Beware, if you have a susceptible soul you might get pulled in. What kind of games are we talking about? Old buildings perhaps. Hello guys, it's me, the, the Satanist VTuber. <laughs> and today we are streaming the game of Ritualistic Murders. Hey! Make sure to like and subscribe. And hit the bell. Elevator friend. Timmy. Maybe it was a good idea that I didn't take the elevator. But I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. I kinda wanna find a safe spot now, so... Uh, so we can explore. Oh yeah, here we go. There is no 7th floor. This is what I was talking about. I remember this, I remember this. There is no 7th floor. And yet, the lights on the building clearly seem to go up. You know what? I'm gonna go in there. Let's go to... Let's say 5F. Because maybe the game's gonna save. Elevator music. Let's check this place out before I continue going up. Yep, I figured it was sa it was safe. I mean, to be fair, I'm probably gonna have to explore the rest of the apartment before it lets me go past this. So, yeah, the seal isn't going away. Knife and face. bathtub. If you wish to break the seal of Alu, your answer lies in a blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. But only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. Remember, Gary loves you. Key. Clavis M. Oh, I guess Clavis means just key in Latin. What's M? Hmm. Uh, maybe M is like, I don't know, the basement, but in Latin or something. 1F. I 
This elevator, especially with this music, is giving me like World of Horror vibes. This music is exactly like you would hear in World of Horror. That's a very good game too, by the way, by the way. Wait, was it this floor? Uh... It was on the first floor, wasn't it? Or was it floor 2? <laughs> the dagger. Is my memory like... 1B. No, so it must be floor 2. Whoops. Uh oh. These candles were not here before. And the dagger wasn't bloodstained before. Now it kinda looks like the seal of Orichalcos from fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, I don't take the dagger with me. Okay, okay, okay. I don't take it with me. Hmm. Now these candles are new too. These, these ones on the right. But are they actually leading me anywhere? Uh. <laughs> it's just a prank. <laughs> the prank, <laughs> yeah. Just like actual murder. Let's check out uh, eight. Actually, no, I'm gonna go 10 and I'm gonna go downwards. And we'll see what that does for us. I'm not gonna get attacked by anything in the elevator, right? See, what this elevator particularly reminds me of in World of Horror is that... Uh, when you're in your apartment in the world of horror, you can look outside your like the the peephole in the door onto like you know the the staircase inside the building, and sometimes there are like things that you can see in there. Sometimes there are like there's either like some some person standing in there or or watching you, or sometimes there's like a corpse or something that that disappears after a split second. It's really good. That get that game is great. Okay, so it goes down that way, so I'm gonna go left. Maybe there's like a roof access or something. Oh, M. Right. It's a basement dumb waiter. Oh, yeah, I kind of figured that was a dumb waiter. Pull upon the handle to open hatch. Place item or, or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on the handle to close hatch. Press button to send them way to the basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open hatch as once dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green lights to come on before using. Oni. <laughs> Not Sony, it's Oni. Right, we're gonna explore the rest before going here because I know what happens here. Sacrifice what you cling to. Mm. So let's go let's go down. Let's see what we have. Besides creepy, creepy music. Oh, pumpkin! Hello! 
Well, this is timely. Mr. J Jack O'Lantern. Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. Yeah! It will be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activi activities will start promptly, so please do, do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family, aka those who receive the newsletter, are, are invited. Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident. Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want a repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats, but no tricks. And just another friendly reminder that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in the apartment. Also, please be aware of Timmy's diet and food allergies, allergies. And please be aware that he suffers from asthma, so please do not sneak up on him or try to scare him. Again, he still has trouble after what happened last year. You will notice that he has a new imaginary friend. Ah, you know, perfectly fine. I have a couple of those too. When you see him, please just roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party! Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who has taken to Timmy so well and has become like a part of the family. Debbie. <laughs> Boring party. <laughs> yeah. I can't go in there though, I, f uh, I don't think. Right, let me keep on going down here. I wonder if there actually is something in the ele elevator. I feel like the game might have made that note about the elevator friend, just 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 to scare me. But but, but I'm not sure if there actually is, is gonna be something in there. Hmm. Mirror. The mirror is broken. Eight A. It's open. Ojamashimas. Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Oh, that's not good. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. Oh, that's, that's not good. That ain't good. It's a trap. Right. And now it's gonna be like, there is no 7th floor, right? I bet once you the elevator door, door closes, a hand will show up and for forcefully open the door. <laughs> Maybe. Those who keep on knocking on forbidden doors will be visited, visited by the one who guards them. Yeah, and there is no 7th floor. No, there is a 7th floor. Ah. Contradictory. And we can't go in here. Let's try to... Go... To the 7th floor, via the elevator. And then we're gonna go back to the dumbwaiter, because... Ah. Right. I guess there isn't a 7th floor after all. Well, let's just go into the dumbwaiter. And here it says, Sacrifice what you cling to. Give up the cross, yes. So be it. Yeah, unfortunately this is what happens. I've seen this in a demo. And now is the red light, which means it was done successfully, right? So do I now, like, just leave? 
Wait, that, that blood wasn't there before, right? That blood wasn't here on this security camera or whatever that is. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm just gonna leave them. Oh, hello, demons. Uh, am I gonna go to the basement now? I guess we can try. Uh, that's a man standing. I don't... Ah, something did happen in the elevator after all. Oh, I can't interact with this. I have to leave on the fourth floor. Gary lies to us. When you see it, run. I saw it. Camera. Oh. And now this is my only light source. I can't wait to see something creepy that's gonna appear suddenly and then disappear with the next flash. What? Demons, I can't go in here. Wait, I can... Uh-oh. Whoa! Wait, this is the this is the attic from Oh that's The game is being funny. Wait, am I bleeding? Yes I am. There's like blood a blood trail behind me. What's over here? Oh now it's covered in blood. Good. Oh no, wait, but there was like a symbol that appeared on the wall. Ah, this, this, this seems fine. This seems safe. Probably shouldn't have done that. Right, let's try this again. Oh, oh, oh shit. Okay, that was, that was, that spooked me, because we did not see that before. <sighs> Damn, this is Fatal Frame. I'm just gonna go. Yeah, 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 see, now, now I'm fine. Oh, this is a good room. There's something like green down there. What is that? I can't quite... What is that? Oy! <sighs> okay, that, that... That, that, that... that scared me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, that, that scared me a little bit. I can't go in there, I can't get the green thing. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Okay, just uh, there, just, uh, just, there's nothing strange here. There was blood that is now gone. Oh, it's following me again. Basement. Hmm? 
Oh. I have to press it. I can't do anything, chat. I have to press it. I have to. Bye. safe I think probably the candles are all out now hmm. took me to the fucking attic again uh, I can't leave oh <laughs> there we go Demons now occupying, covering the entrance. No, well, no way I'm gonna read that now, right? Uh oh, <laughs> symbols. This this camera, like being the only thing I can hear, is like I'm producing my own. Like scary music. Like a scary ambience. The fact that I can't hear anything else is just. Ooh. Ah, well, I, I do feel at least more reassured now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. My beloved Gary, alas, the mask is already stained with blood, my blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond. Look for me in the unseen world, if you dare, Tiffany. <sighs> Damn. Mask. And the seal is gone. I guess we can leave. I saw the candles light, light up when the monster w did, a, did a thing. Wait. Did the monster appear because I took my cross out? Huh. Wait, did I? Oh! Is this me now? Yeah, I... Oh shit. Uh. Game saved. Okay. I think I'm fine. I'm fine, I'll just walk it off. Oh, the demons are gone too. Let's head to floor number five. By the way, 
the first floor being the ground floor is only a thing in like America, I think. It definitely is in America, but like in other countries, especially especially Britain and most of Europe, if you say first floor, that means first floor above the ground, and the ground floor is a separate thing. First floor is not on the ground. And in Poland there is a, se a separate word for the ground floor, it's called parter. Okay. 5A. At least I have my cross back though. Wait, is the seal still there? Oh yeah, I was thinking... Hmm. I was thinking actually, I was thinking if... Did I actually remove the seal after dying? Looks like I, looks like I didn't. Looks like I didn't, yeah. Whoops, we gotta backtrack a little bit. Wait, you have an upper ground floor? <laughs> that is new to me. Then like second floor, it's weird. See, upper ground floor is weird actually. Ground and first floor is being separate is something that you know has some rational explanation, but that that just sounds weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me just real quick just get rid of that mask and go right back up. I guess that's why the demon didn't fucking appear the second time. Yeah, I didn't take this note and read the mask. Yeah. Look at the mask. And now we can go. How do I... Nah. Did the same thing again. And now it's saved in a different slot, so I'm gonna have to walk this way again every time I have to face the freaking monster. You also got possessed by the demon. Maybe it could have been avoided if you have the cross. See, I, I've, I'm pretty sure that did happen after I took the cross. But, I don't know. Hmm, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, get rid, of the, get rid of the seal. Maybe I have to fight this thing now? Yeah, yeah. Now I have to fight this thing. You can't hide anymore. Be clear. Oi, oi. Ah. She's always with you. Hmm. You belong to her. There we go. The power of Christ compels you. Now stay out of my way. See, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine now. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder how much there is, because maybe I am gonna end up beating all of this in one stream. You know, I named this part one, but 
<laughs> it might be part one of one. on the kappa. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Lisa. Lisa, did God you were alright? I, do I don't think she's alright. So I can't hear as fast as I could. Let's go, Lisa. I figured. Oh. <laughs> Bored. Yeah, you, you stay back. I mean, she's probably not gonna hurt me while the demon is out, right? Uh... Oh, come on! Fight it, John! Did I see... Oh wait, is it in her again? Yeah, it is. Right. Well, as long it's, as it's not insta-kill, that's fine. There we go. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Careful. Be gone, demon! You know, there's a biblical story where... I'm pretty sure it's the original We, the we, are, we are Legion thing. I think it was Jesus too, so... Jesus comes across like a group of people who are possessed by demons or something, right? And that was, that's where the We Are Legion quote comes from, because that was what the demons said. And what he does is he makes the demons go into a bunch of pigs, and then the, and then the pigs, uh, he makes them run off of a cliff to their deaths. That's the Bible for you. Lisa, is she okay? Probably. Oh no, she's a smoker. <laughs> Based Jesucristo, yeah. Get going! Uh, where? Maybe the seventh floor, actually. It's probably opened now. Oh, safe. I sense another demonic seal was broken somewhere beyond. Right. It's gotta be the seventh floor, right? Like, definitely. No. It was rubber ducky behind it all, all along. Is it not gonna be the seventh floor? I'm pretty sure.
Or do I just like straight up leave this whole building? Yeah. Here it just tells me there is no seventh floor. Was there somewhere I didn't explore properly? Uh, 6B. I'm gonna try to leave through the entrance and see what happens. Okay. Bye bye, Mr. Flower Pot. Not haunted. Oh. Bye bye, Thanos truck. Wait, so can I actually. I can! Oh, okay. Achievement un unlocked. Rent and utilities due Friday. Why, did it, why is it showing me the elevator? Oh, we're back here. Take it, save her! Hmm. Creepy ass mannequins in the, in the basement, of course. Mr. and Mrs. Martin? Oh yeah, where'd they go? What is that? Glasses. Bob's glasses. Oh hey! The demons behind me. Oh that's oh that's lightning. I can I kinda figured actually. That's pretty cool though. Can I go outside? Oh that's that's good. That's good. <laughs> she she's she's in there. Right, right. Let's check out the rest. Let's check out the rest of the house. What? I don't remember anything further. That that that's misspelled. That's misspelled. The robber ducky. He's the true villain. Ah, uh, I can't exercise him though. Maybe it's because he's just too powerful. Hmm. Yeah, she's right there in the window, like, hello! So let's go say hi! Hello! One day until the profane Sabbath. Okay. I guess the game probably did just save. It's probably a note. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna read this and. Uh, John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center of four, on 4th Street. 
If Nathan and Jason are there, then you can bet that this is the place where they will try to summon Malthus. There is no time left. Go to the daycare and find out what's really going on. Fear not. Vaya con Dios, Father Garcia. Right, but... Well, before, before I go, let's ch check the basement as well. This is probably gonna be it for me for today, by the way. Hmm? Still nothing in the basement. But there's probably gonna be something on the next day, right? Something's definitely gonna go down here. I'm probably gonna stop here, because it has been like four hours. And I'll continue the rest the next week. Yeah, so let me just uh, just double. Let me just double check. Oh, new effect unlocked. Gary loves you. Let me just check if it does load in the same place. Continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Let's see what the effect is. What's it gonna be? Maybe like make everything red. Options, effect. Manzana 2. No, it doesn't make everything red, it makes everything green. Okay. Yeah, everything just green now. Right. No, not extras. I wonder what the hell is what the hell conjuration mode is. Very cool. I love this game. It's really good. It's it's genuinely really good. <laughs> Haven't been this creeped out in a while. I mean I don't play horror games very often, but this this is the good stuff. It's re Right. I'm gonna show you one last thing <laughs> that I found recently while I was uh, looking for assets to use for, you know, the previously mentioned project Axolol about me, you know, in increasing and improving my streaming operations. I'm just gonna show you something real quick because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> I found this uh, screensaver. Check, check this out, because I think this is amazing. <laughs> 3D Arctic Bear. Watch this 3D rendered polar bear go about his day, sitting on a small block of ice, drifting on the ocean and drinking beer and listening to music as planes and birds fly overhead. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm, I'm definitely gonna download this and check this out later. It, it, it is great. Right, <laughs> the fucking polar bear, just the chillest motherfucker ever. But that's all. I'm gonna continue this next week. I love this game. Eternal Darkness, which I meant to stream, I uh, sh stream today. Yo, <laughs> I know, right? He looks so sick. Ten out of ten screensaver. Right, but Eternal Darkness, which I meant to stream today. You know, as we all know, got shafted because this game came out yesterday. So I'm gonna play Eternal Darkness on Wednesday. In instead of whatever I was planning to do. What was I planning to do, actually? Oh, right. The the horror game. There's, a, there's like a weird horror game on uh, Steam, which is entirely in Russian. And just... It's just a complete mystery, like, I have no clue what to expect from it. But it's free, and it's entirely in Russian, no English on the page whatsoever. So I'm gonna play that sometime, but I'm gonna continue Eternal Darkness next Wednesday, and this game next Saturday. So, thanks everyone for tuning into this stream. I'll see you later. Bye-bye! Oh, and just in case you haven't seen this before, this is what it looks like without the effect. I always have Paula Abdul with me. 
at this point, I don't even know why myself. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I thought a little effect like this will, would be cute for this game, and I like it a lot. Bye bye. I'll see you around. <laughs>